Good morning, everyone. I just woke up. I haven't been crying. My eyes are just really red. Okay, here's what I want to talk about. Regardless of where you are on the planet right now, okay, we are all going to be faced with basic human rights being taken away. And some of you are in beautiful cities or towns where everything's quiet, everything's good, and you're like, I don't need to worry about this, right? Everything seems okay where I am. I'm gonna tell you right now, based on the evolution of human consciousness, we are all going to be faced with our basic human rights being taken away. If you look at the history of what humanity has gone through, there have always been humans that have been enslaved. There have always been humans that have, been, that have not had their basic human rights, whether it's religious, whether it is sex, whether it is color of your skin, your nationality, right? We have always been faced with what we are confronted with right now, which is basic human rights being taken away based on a specific narrative, based on a specific biased narrative. And what these narratives do is they create divide. And what divide does is it keeps the human preoccupied with the divide so that they don't realize that they are being controlled and enslaved by a biased narrative. There is no anti this, pro this. That is a narrative that we have been given. It's your choice whether you believe that. There, there is no um, better sex, smarter sex. There is no um, religion that is higher than or lower than. These are all biased narratives. And they have created divides so powerful and so potent that humans are born into them. And they believe them in its absolute truth. And the sad thing about this is that humans are born into thinking and believing that certain other humans don't deserve their basic human rights. And what are we looking at right now? What are we watching unfold? We are watching narratives being given to us that are continuing to perpetuate this idea based on a false narrative, meaning a narrative that is biased, that certain humans should have their freedoms and certain humans shouldn't. Step into your heart for a moment, regardless of what your belief is, regardless of what group you stand in, this ridiculous divide that we are experiencing, regardless of what side you are on. Do you really believe, throw the narrative away please, do you really believe that humans shouldn't have basic human rights to go to work? Throw, the, throw that narrative out that you're bringing in right now because that narrative that you're bringing in that allows you to do what you're gonna do or say what you're gonna say is biased. It's a biased narrative. So you are buying into taking away human rights based on a biased narrative. Throw that out and ask yourself, do I believe that humans should, all humans shouldn't have the right to their job, shouldn't have the right to education, shouldn't have the right to speak their truth, shouldn't have the right to, to do whatever they wanna do, to go into a religious uh, establishment, right? Do I believe that? Do you believe that? We, these are the questions we need to start asking ourselves. Not are you, did you stick something in your freaking arm, right? Or what color is your skin? Or what educational level did you get to? Or uh, what's your religion? These are all ridiculous questions based on a biased narrative. What we should be asking ourselves is do I believe that every human deserves their basic human rights? That's the question I should be asking myself. That's the question we should be asking ourselves. We should also be asking ourselves, am I perpetuating a divide and do I believe that divides are important? Do you believe there should be divide in this world? Do you believe that certain humans are good and certain humans are bad? Now, granted, there is an overall universal good and bad. Killing is bad, raping is bad. Yes, I get that. I'm talking about a more generalized good and bad, okay? Do you believe that? Do you believe, see, this is what we do. Other countries are going through it. I'm not going through it, so I don't have to worry about it yet. Yet, this isn't going to impact every single country in the world. 
Don't think that because you're in some beautiful town and you've got this beautiful land that you're safe. You're escaping because you too need to practice this. We all need to start practicing. Practicing looking out and noticing, am I in a divide? Am I perpetuating a divide? Am I keeping a divide going? Do I believe that all humans have basic rights? Do I believe that all humans have the right to their bodies? That all humans have the right to speak? That all humans have the right to go about their day, walk out their door? We have got to start to see what is actually happening and step out of these narratives that are biased because they are continuing to perpetuate the shadow that we are evolving out of. The shadow of the human collective that we are evolving out of is enslavement, control, manipulation, and divide. What are we in right now? So when you're going about your day and you have your beliefs and you have your truths, here's what you do. Here's what you do. You recognize, am I in a divide? Am I perpetuating it? Do I believe that all humans have basic human rights? Do I have truths? Of course. Do I want to speak my truths? Sure. But am I perpetuating a divide? Am I taking away basic human rights? And if I am, why? Why? Who is telling me that that's okay? And please look back at history, the last 500, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 years, and notice the divides, the injustices, all of it. Notice it. How is this any different? It's not. There's nothing different about what we're going through now and what we, the human has gone through for thousands of years. Now, it's just impacting everyone. So we all have to look at it. This is the human evolution. This is what it looks like when an entire human collective evolves. We evolve out of a shadow and into more light. So we got to see it. Keep your eyes open. Keep your heart open. Feel. Love more. Have compassion. Have empathy for every human. Have empathy, compassion, and love for yourself. And don't forget what this is actually about. This isn't about anti this, pro this. It's ridiculous. This is about basic human rights that we have been, that we have not had for thousands of years. And we get through this. We all get through this. But let's look at what is actually happening. Let's take off the blinders, take off the illusion, and we change this, we evolve out of this, Human to human. Every human has to choose. Every human has to choose. You have to choose how you want to be. You have to choose how you want to experience this. You choose. And in that, you break free. So choose. I love you.